All right, guys. So how do we add this? Um, how do we add this to the teams? So teams and new projects. So how do they really um, uh, come together? We have a bunch of uh, apps that do a lot of these things automatically, but do let me let me show you how you can quickly get this into your teams in no time. Okay. So I uh, open my teams. Here's my teams, and uh, here where I can. Uh, have my, uh, my my teams that I'd like to add this add this to, and I can add this to any channel, general channel, or any of these um, other channels here. Uh, so uh, let me just go back, back to conversation here. So how do I? Um, let's just say this is brand new team PPM three sixty five, and I have this general channel. Let's just say uh, like this, and I'd like to add my project here, which is which is here from the previous video here. Um, I'd like to add this project to that team. So I'm going to grab that. I'm going to grab that URL. I'm going to go back to my teams. I'm going to add a new channel. So here, I'm going to use. In this case, I'm going to use the website. Um, so I'm going to click on that website app from Teams, and I'm going to say this is my um, project for the web um, project. Um, ABC or something like that okay and here on the URL I'm just gonna paste that URL I just grabbed from from that um, project over there um, I'm going to click on um, save and what this would do this would nicely show me this great project from um, new project right so I can clearly see that there's a there's this exact project over here, right? The same way I have the, the grid, the board, the timeline, everything is cool. But there's one step, I can just make it on the full screen. There's one step I can make this even cooler. So I see this this Office 365 trailing, you know, stuff that I don't like, you know, particularly to see. Uh, what I can do is to go back to the settings of that channel and add this one little one little addition to the URL. So I'm going to say ampersand, so it's ampersand, um, and it's going to be dynamics, uh, dynamics UI equals true. Okay, so this is dynamics, you know, at, you know, end dynamics UI equals true, right? That's very, very simple. I'm going to save this, and now I have like the specific interface that was designed by Microsoft to kind of get rid of that header uh, on that page so I can actually focus on that very project. Quick and easy, right? Again, thanks for watching. Click on subscribe to our channel and uh, we'll be uh, posting more and more like this. I will be posting more about the Power Apps and how we can build apps around that to making, to making a better experience with the new project. Again. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Thank you.